What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be looking at two brand new Pokemon trailers, one being for the 2018 movie Everyone's Story, and then we're going to watch the, the review trailer for Zara Aura, which is kind of like a teaser because it's only 26 seconds long, so I doubt we see anything, probably see him jump out of fucking Pokeball and that's it. But nonetheless, I'm going to be watching both of them. I'm not going to give them grades. Now, the movie trailer, I would want to. It's a minute and 42 seconds. About a normal size of a normal trailer. A normal movie trailer anyway. But I doubt that that's going to be the case. They're going to probably have a tons of splash screens. On top of that, they're probably... It's going to be Japanese. I'm not going to understand anything. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to deep dive into the trailer. I'm going to just be looking at what I can see. Let's jump in to the first trailer, which is Everyone's Story, which I'm excited about. I love the artwork. A lot of people giving this new artwork some shit. Relax. It's fine. Digest it. Come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's, it's a movie. It's going to be here, gone. Like, the people are taking it way too, I don't want to say serious, but let them let them stretch their leg. They want to deep dive into other art and other stuff. Like, let them do that. Don't let them be stagnated and not develop and not grow because they want to do different shit. Let them do different shit. All right, let's check this out. Is the sound on? Yeah, boom. The art looks amazing. I don't know why a lot of people online give a shit. Yeah, we've seen that in the other trailer. Lugia. Lugia! I have no idea what's going on. Somebody in the hospital? What is that? Theme park? Got Chansey. Shooter Wudo. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to see everybody. Got Eevee. Everyone talking about new Eevee illusions. That was shut down real quick on Twitter. <laughs> but I think there's still a possibility we could see it in Gen 8. Total dial. Oh, no, it's a See, look Zero aura. And that's all we get? Oh, come on. That's a little bit is what we get? Bye. Kind of shit. Oh, this is for the Lugia that I'm trying to see if I get my hands on. The weather Lugia, or the wind, the flying Lugia, whatever the case may be. It were all flying moons or whatever. I did a video on that. I believe so. I'm going to have a card up here if, if, if I can find it. So the video was okay. It wasn't too bad. A lot of people giving it ish, but it was all right. Let's watch Zero Aura, Mythical Pokemon Discovered in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, the last Pokemon for Generation 7. Let's see how this bad boy looks. We already know how it looks, but let's just check it out. It says a new Mythical Pokemon has been spotted. And obviously, it's Zero Aura. Unfortunately, there's no EV. So it looks like right away, you can see the ball comes out of... It's going to be an event Pokemon. Again, there's an event. That's no surprise. You know, what I would have wanted a hundred percent over an event is DLC. Like, I feel like that's one thing that Pokemon lacking. They're just giving us Pokemon at this point when I, I really feel like we're missing the con connection because more shadow came out. I threw more shadow in the bank and I haven't touched more shadow since. And I'm like, more shadow looks cool. I want to use them, but you guys are not giving me a reason to use him outside of me using him for you know finishing up the pokedex or getting the z crystal or you know i even i haven't even finished ultra sun ultra moon i'm stuck shiny hunting for type null so i'm still there so that means i'm at the beginning of post game stuff and i'm, I'm still trying to deep dive into that i'm still trying to shiny hunt type null 
Uh, but it's like, I feel like, I wish there was a story behind Zero Aura that we could find out in game to make us want to hunt him down and catch him like if it was an experience, but we're just gonna be giving him, apparently. The Thunder, Clap Pokemon, what is it, Thunder? Come on, don't make it difficult. Thunder Pokemon. Yep, Thunder Clap Pokemon, Height, Type is Electric. And that's it. They don't even tell us when we're getting him or how we're getting him. Even though, again, it is going to be most likely a distribution code at GameStop or whatever. I hope they don't do that. I hope they just drop it on Wi-Fi, give it to us. I'm going like this because I'm grabbing, um, reaching for my DS. I want them to just give it to us over Wi-Fi. Give it to everyone. Everyone that has a game, you can download it. Do that. Or give out a QR code. Put out a QR code online and have everyone download it like you did Morgana. That'd be a good idea too. But besides that, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below about Zero R finally being in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, coming to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. What are your thoughts on the movie trailer? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I think it's pretty cool. I kind of wish we see more with this. I, I want to see more Zero Aura. I like, because he looks so fucking cool and so badass. But he's just gonna be given out to us. And I'm like, there's no story, there's no nothing behind that. Which is kind of a letdown. To me, that's a letdown. But that's to be expected. That's how they did the last couple. That's how they did Mar Shadow. That's how they did Morgana. You know, there was nothing in game tying us to these Pokemon, like a story or a pack lore. And I feel like the way they did it in Oras, now mind you, Oras, in Oras, you can get not the mythical Pokemon, but Rayquaza was kind of like a tail end post game, you know, story, Delta story. None of that here. <laughs> and uh, it's such a missed opportunity. Now, mind you, they're probably working on Gen 8, that's why. So you get a pass, you get a pass for that. But Jesus Christ, <laughs> let me know what you think. Like I said, guys, in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news update video.